Welcome to your Earth experience. Today, I will take you on a trip through Vietnam. In this amazing Asian country, there are many unique places to see and discover. Friendly people, one of the world's best cuisines, a beautiful coastline, green mountains and valleys, rice fields, bustling cities, and old and historical places. The trip starts in North Vietnam, in its capital Hanoi, and ends in the south, in Ho Chi Minh City making it a trip of about 2,400 miles, or 3,900 kilometers. Even though traveling through Vietnam by public transport is a good way, I do recommend using a scooter if you have any experience driving one. Traveling through this amazing country by a scooter gives you so much freedom and time to explore the country on your own way. When planning your trip to Vietnam, keep in mind that Vietnam has a rainy season from May to November, but the peaks and periods vary in the north, center, and south. Before we start this trip, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, as there are more travel guides, best places and road trips, to come. Now let's get into it. Hanoi is the capital of Vietnam, and the second largest city of the country. The big city of Hanoi has more than 8 million inhabitants, but has a relatively small city center. Yet, Hanoi has plenty of nice sites, such as old pagodas, historical museums, and the atmospheric, old quarter. And not to forget, the many eateries with delicious Vietnamese food. Due to the French rule of the past, French influences can still be seen in the bustling city of Hanoi, to this day. Old Quarter The most atmospheric and famous part of Hanoi. The old quarter really comes alive at night. Tourists and locals come together here to enjoy the Vietnamese food, atmosphere, and colonial architecture. The narrow streets, many eateries, and old shops make it an amazing place to visit. The area is full of scooters, cars, and cyclists, so pay attention if you decide to walk through the old quarter, which is highly recommended. The Hon Kim Lake An amazing site, which is centrally located in the city. It is a popular place that many locals and tourists flock to. Hong Kim means repossessed sword, and refers to a legend from the 15th century. Enjoy the lake waterfront, or pay a visit to the En Gok Sun Temple. This temple is located on a small island on the lake, and is accessed via the beautifully decorated Huck Bridge. A must-see during your stay in Hanoi. Hanoi Train Street An iconic site of the city of Hanoi. Trains run through a very narrow street, where shopkeepers, residents and cafe owners have their place. For tourists it is a very popular place, which is often photographed. But the residents are no longer surprised when a train drives by. Hanoi's architecture and buildings are impressive. The French influences have a part in this, but the Vietnamese pagodas, temples and buildings have their own beauty. The Hanoi Opera House is one of the most beautiful buildings in the city. A building from 1911, modeled after a Parisian building. But the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum is also an incredibly beautiful building. It is also the final resting place of Vietnam's most popular and iconic leader, Ho Chi Minh. And last but not least, the inaccessible pagode on the Hong Kim Lake and the St. Joseph Cathedral, a Catholic church, which is a notable site in this predominantly Buddhist city. In the northwest of Vietnam, near the border of China, you will find the mountain village of Sapa. Sapa is known for its spectacular views, green rice fields, and mountains. A trekking through the valley is highly recommended to do. In the morning at sunrise, in combination with the often occurring fog, is magical. But the evening sunset, where the sky shows many different colors, before the sun finally sets, is simply amazing too. In Sapa, you'll find in addition to all the beautiful mountains and valleys, Vietnam's highest mountain. The 10,300 feet or 3,143 meters high, Mount Fansipan. The mountain can be climbed by a spectacular tour, but it's recommended to have some hiking experience. During this trek you will encounter wild animals such as monkeys and beautiful birds. But also the Vietnamese architecture such as pagodas and temples, and the green rice fields and valleys, can be seen. If you are a little less adventurous, or if it's not possible to do this trek for another reason, don't worry. One of the world's longest zip lines will take you to the top of Mount Fansipan in 15 minutes. At about 7 miles, or 12 kilometers from the village of Zapa, you'll find the Thak Bay Waterfall. The Thak Bay Waterfall is also called Silver Falls. There are three waterfalls in the area, but the Silver Fall is the most popular. 
The water flows down through several floors, from a height of about 656 feet, or 200 meters. The Silver Fall is located in an amazing setting in the Tram Tun Pass, and is well worth a visit. Just to the northeast of Sapa, you will find a place in a similar area, called Hajan. Hajan is seen as a quieter alternative, but this does not detract from the incredibly beautiful surroundings. Many find it even more beautiful than Sapa, and backpackers are increasingly finding this place. The area around Hajang is known for its gigantic valleys, streams, and rivers, and the famous and spectacular Hajang Loop. The Hajang Loop is by far the most popular activity in this amazing area. This beautiful mountain pass takes you along breathtaking viewpoints. The area of Hajang has many beautiful places, and all these places can be reached by driving this road. The pass goes through winding roads, high mountains with deep valleys, and steep walls. Enjoying amazing landscapes on this pass is guaranteed. You can drive the mountain pass at your own pace, but on average, people take three to five days to fully discover this area. Like almost all of northern Vietnam, the relatively undiscovered Chao Bang is home to amazing natural wonders. Here too, the area is surrounded by beautiful nature, with many lakes, and as highlight, the Ban Giac Waterfall. The to China bordering Ban Giac Waterfall is a special one not because of its relatively low height of 98 feet or 30 meters but because of the impressive width of no less than 984 feet or 300 meters halong bay this wonderful area in the northeast of vietnam has been named one of the seven wonders of nature and should be on everyone's must-see list there are nearly 2,000 limestone islands in the bay each with dense vegetation on top the monoliths rising out of the ocean give a spectacular and amazing view. Many of the islands also have accessible caves, making the experience in this already amazing bay even better. Many cruises are arranged from Halong Bay itself and from the bay's largest island, named Katba Island. These tours all sail into the bay, but do offer all of their own activities. Do you want to relax on the boat, swim now and then, while taking pictures of all the sights? This can be done anytime and anywhere, and is a great way to experience the bay. However, in addition to the cruise, some organizations also offer a kayak trip, a visit to floating villages, and a visit to Monkey Island. As the name suggests, Monkey Island is a small place, home to over 1,000 macaques. Despite being used to the tourists and locals, they are still mainly concerned with themselves. And on this island there is a great hike to the highest peak. A relatively short hike in which you climb and clamber a lot don't forget to bring good walking shoes and especially your photo camera the water in the bay is very calm making kayaking a great activity to do the cruises do their best to give you the optimal experience of Halong bay but the kayaks can get to places where the boats are left behind sail through caves discover lakes completely surrounded by monoliths visit floating villages and above all enjoy the unique experience the floating villages you will encounter them in several places in the bay people live and work here on the water earning their income from selling fish and seafood the locals who live in these villages are very friendly and like to welcome you to their floating village the floating villages laying between the wonderful surroundings provide a unique experience Nin Bin, or in other words the halong bay of the mainland Although the city of Ninh Binh is not too special, the surroundings definitely are. The surroundings of Ninh Binh is unique and impressive. Here you will also find the beautiful green rice fields, caves, high mountains, and the river running through them. The landscape of Ninh Binh is similar to that of Halong Bay and other places in the north. Yet, Ninh Binh is unique in its own beauty. Combine your visit to Ninh Binh with the nearby town of Tam Kok. Tam Kok is often directly compared to Ninh Binh, but has its own nature, and Tam Kok River, which I recommend sailing across. Beside the amazing nature, you will also find the temples and pagodas, which stand out beautifully through all the green nature. The Phong Na Khu Bang National Park, or shortened, Phong Na. This national park is considered the most beautiful in Vietnam. The combination of wild exotic animals, rainforests, deep caves, and the oldest karst mountains in Asia makes it a special place. In 2005, the Paradise Cave was named the most beautiful and largest cave in the park. 
until in 2009, a farmer accidentally discovered a cave, which turned out to be the largest cave in the world. The now called Hang Sun Dung Cave is only accessible to a dozen people per year, whereby you have to pay a large entrance fee. But there are many great alternatives which you are allowed to enter. Adventurers have plenty to do in this park. Go on a cave tour or discover the gigantic rainforest. The Phong Nan National Park has a lot to offer and is simply amazing. The City of Hue Hue was the imperial capital of Vietnam between 1802 and 1945. Because of its history, there are many temples, tombs and palaces to be found. But unfortunately, several historic buildings were lost during the war due to bombing. Hue is not the prettiest, nor is it the most atmospheric city in Vietnam. But it's centrally located between the Phong Nha Khe Bang Park and the picturesque town of Hoi An and has an old and historic city center. Huey's sites mainly consist of the historical tombs, pagodas, and temples. But the Huey Imperial Palace is arguably the most beautiful and popular building there is. Enjoy the monumental building and old architecture. The Hai Van Pass is a mountain pass connecting the cities of Da Nang and Huey. Considered one of Vietnam's most scenic roads, it was partly made famous by an episode of Top Gear, where this road was filmed. Make sure to enjoy the beautiful views along the way. Da Nang is Vietnam's third city and is centrally located. Just like Hue, it can't match the atmosphere of the slightly more southern town, Hoi An. But there are plenty of nice sights to visit. The Golden Bridge is about one and a half hours drive from Da Nang, but is absolutely worth it. This 492 feet or 150 meters tall structure represents the hands of God. The bridge is located in the Bana Hills and is at an altitude of about 4,600 feet or 1,400 meters. But Da Nang has even more. Vietnam has many pagodas, but the Lenung Pagoda literally stands out. The White Buddha statue, named Lady Buddha, is a 219 feet or 67 meters high statue. With the lotus diameter below, the statue rises even above 328 feet or 100 meters which makes it a notable sight. Along with Lady Buddha, the Marble Mountains are also a well-known landmark. The Marble Mountains consists of five hills, all named after a natural element. At the top you will find pagodas, and you have a great view over the city. Or you can explore the caves under the hills to see more historic sites. If you just want to relax here, Da Nang is a good place to. Da Nang has a nice beach with fine sand and clear water. Hoi An, the most atmospheric place in Vietnam. This is clearly reflected in the old city center, where cars and trucks are prohibited. Hoi An is also located next to a nice beach. And although the beach is always a nice place to visit, the atmospheric and historic city center really makes the difference here. Narrow streets, nice eateries, colored houses, and ancient bridges can be found in Hoi An. When the night falls, the many lanterns are lit. It makes a walk through the colorful and atmospheric Hoi An even more special. The town has a long history and has been on UNESCO's World Heritage List since 1999. Japanese, Chinese, and even French influences are present here. The historic Japanese bridge was built in 1590 and was supposed to connect the Japanese part of the city with that of the Chinese part. Today, it's a popular site of the city. Hoi An is one of Vietnam's highlights and is frequently visited by tourists and backpackers. Na Trong Former fishing village, now a bustling coastal town with many hotels, restaurants and bars. Na Trong has a beautiful stretched beach, with luxury resorts and many dining options. Here too you will find temples and pagodas, but the surroundings are less impressive than in other places. Na Trong is located between the central cities such as Da Nang, and the southern city Ho Chi Minh. Despite it not being on everyone's list, given its location it's a good place to stay during a road trip. Dalat. The city is wedged between the mountains of the Lang Bien Plateau. The architecture of Dalat is different from what you are used to in Vietnam. In the past, the French have left their influences here even more than elsewhere. You will find the Hang Na Crazy House here, and a crazy house it definitely is. But the lively city market is also a nice place to visit. But not only the city of Dalat is a great place to visit. 
In the area you will find amazing nature, such as rivers that are suitable for rafting and waterfalls. There are several waterfalls in the area. The two most beautiful and popular are the Elephant Waterfall and Pond Gore Waterfall. Mui Ne. In the southeast of Vietnam, you will find the small coastal town of Mui Ne. This town has a relaxed atmosphere, and tourists have discovered that too. Mui Ne is very touristy these days, mainly because it's one of the best surfing spots in Asia, and the amazing red sand dunes who can be found here. Ho Chi Minh City. Vietnam's largest city and home to 9 million people. The lively metropolis has many restaurants, markets, and street food stalls. But in Ho Chi Minh you also have the beautiful temples, French architecture, war memorials, and of course, the chaos of a metropolis. The former Saigon was the capital of Vietnam until 1976, after which Hanoi took over the title of capital. In the same year, Saigon was renamed Ho Chi Minh City. A reference to the first president of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. To this day, many locals still refer to the city as Saigon. With all the skyscrapers and bustling streets, you would almost forget that there are also many characteristic buildings to be found in Ho Chi Minh City. In part, the French colonial architecture contributed to the beauty of these historic buildings. Despite Ho Chi Minh City differs from Hanoi in several ways, they both have their own great sites, which makes it one of the must-see places in Vietnam. The Mekong Delta is a special area. The 2,600 miles, or 4,200, kilometer long Mekong River flows through here, after which it covers a large area through many channels and tributaries. It is one of the most popular places in southern Vietnam. Villages, rice fields and markets. Life here mainly takes place on and next to the water. It is recommended to take a boat tour to experience the amazing Mekong Delta up close. The Mekong Delta is one of Vietnam's best highlights. Phu Quoc. Whoever thought that Vietnam only consists of the busy cities and beautiful nature in the north is wrong. Vietnam does not have as many beautiful tropical islands as the nearby countries of Thailand and Indonesia, but still has a few amazing islands that are definitely worth visiting. One of these islands is Phu Quoc, located under Cambodia. Phu Quoc is Vietnam's largest island, has amazing beaches, and consists of 90% tropical jungle. In addition to the many white bounty beaches, you will find several waterfalls and rare animals, which makes it a unique place. Whether you start your journey in the north or south, Phu Quoc Island is definitely a must-see place to visit. And hereby we come at the end of this travel guide. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, as there will be soon more travel guides, best places, and more to come.